Hey guys, Mason here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to be seeing how fast a full team of the Infinity Gauntlets can go ahead and beat the time trial. So, so we have a full team of Max Breakthrough, Shiny plus Exotic Infinity Gauntlets. So, so each of these do 90 trillion damage, which is pretty good. So, and we have a full team of 9 of these. I believe this is the max amount of weapons you can equip in the game. This like includes all of the weapon game passes and all of the weapon achievements that you get in here. So, so we have a full team of these and we're going to go ahead and see how fast and go ahead and defeat hard mode. We're not going to do the easy mode, well the normal mode right over here. Because this mode, all of these weapons will probably just one tap everything. So that will be way too easy. So yeah, so we're not going to be using any spells, but we are going to be using passives because these just make our weapons do even more damage. So yeah, and so we're going to be using our passives, not going to be using banshees. These barely do any damage anyway, so no reason to really use those. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Well, we might actually equip water flow, but actually, no, we don't need to equip water flow, even though we could. Yeah, let's not equip it. Because the biggest challenge is probably going to be like defeating the bosses in there and stuff. So yeah, we don't really need to worry about time that much. So here we go. Two, one, and all right. Let's go ahead and pull our, our mount so we go even faster. Go ahead and break through this wall right here. And you know what? Actually, we will go ahead and equip water flow because we are moving really slow right now. So over here, let's go ahead and equip it. And there we go. We are already moving so much faster. And all right, so these are actually one tapping everything right now. That's pretty surprising. I tried doing this on the main game. By the way, I'm in the test server right now because I do not currently have these gauntlets on the main game. Yeah, I tried doing this on the main game with all of my pretty good weapons. And I don't think they could one tap all of these things right here. So that is pretty interesting. So here we go. Go ahead and kill those. And there is a frog in the corner. Let's go ahead and kill that as well. And then we can go ahead and open up all three of these doors. I have been doing the time trials quite a bit. Not too much since the update. But right whenever the update came out, I did tons of time trials. So I know the fastest ways to go ahead and get through them. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and open that one. And since it takes like time to go ahead and open, you can go ahead and open this one. And you can go ahead and use the map to look at like what the rooms are. Like that one was a boss chest over there. So we don't need to go over there. So let's go ahead and open up this one. That one is a boss chest. So all of these rooms are pretty much useless. But we still have to go ahead and open them to get that 100% explored. Alright, went ahead and opened up those rooms. And oh, I think this is actually a new one right here. I haven't seen this one before. And okay, so we probably won't use our mount on this one. Yeah, this might be a new one. I didn't know that they actually updated this. But I haven't seen this one before. So uh, don't get hit by those. I think we actually jumped on top of that one. So uh, let's go ahead and open up all of these doors though. So that one is split three ways and then that one is a one way. So we'll go over here and oh it's pretty much the same thing. Alright we just found our first key so this is the red key. Let's go ahead and grab that. So there are a total of three keys but we don't need the three keys for every time. This may be one, uh, one of like the time trials where we actually do need all three keys. But most times, you only need like two keys. So, yeah, so we have one right now. We might need another. But it is possible that all we need is this one. And we are now a third of the way through with our time. So let's go ahead and watch out for those. So, yeah, so we only have eight minutes left. Which that is still plenty of time. And I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, this way. That's still plenty of time. We already discovered over half of it. 62% now. So I think we can probably defeat this pretty quickly but yeah let's go ahead and keep defeating these though but the thing is we're gonna go ahead and see how fast we can defeat it all right another obstacle stage right here so let's go ahead and jump through all of these and i actually missed that one all right that takes a couple seconds off and there we go we went ahead and respawned it is a little bit harder to see these because the infinity gauntlets are kind of blocking what's behind me so, so the door is right over here so let's go ahead and head over there there we go and all right so there is still another thing behind this all right and this is the door that we need the red key for let's go ahead and open that up 
And yeah, so this is like the end of it right here, but we still have to go ahead and explore 25% more. And then we'll definitely go ahead and defeat it. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and open up this one. And that is like the ending thing right there. That's where you go ahead and get tons of gold. But we still have like 22% more to go ahead and explore. And then we can go ahead and like say we defeated it. So yeah, so right over here, and there's actually another obstacle thing right over here. So yeah, so let's go ahead and jump to this one. And kind of surprised that we actually made that. That was kind of close. And open this. And now we can go ahead and open the door. So let's go over here. There we go. And what is behind this? And all right, another obstacle stage. And okay, this one is a lot different. All right, let's go ahead and go through this. And Oh, I kind of messed up. Alright, so that top one won't actually hit us unless we jump. So, so all we have to do is like not jump the whole time and the top one won't hit us. Alright, let's go ahead and retry this. So here we go. All we have to do is wait for the bottom one. And now we just go ahead and move with the bottom one because the top one won't hit us unless we jump, which it actually hit us that time. I would have made it onto the thing, but it kind of pushed me over and made me go into the poison. So, so here we go. And now let's go ahead and slowly move. We do have to watch out for the thing behind us. And now. Alright, there we go. And now we can go ahead and die if we want to. So the door is right there. Alright, so we died again, but it doesn't matter because we already went ahead and flipped the lever. And oh, never mind. I didn't know it respawned us back here in the middle. Alright, so we do have to go ahead and escape. There we go. And now we can go ahead and open the door. And this was just another boss chest, so that means there is another door somewhere. So let's go ahead and look for it. All right, I see it. It's right over there. We only have three minutes left, though. So, so this one, then there should be another door. Well, there should actually be two doors behind this one. So, so oh, never mind. All right, I have no idea where this is because I can't see the whole map at once. Because it's kind of being weird right now. All right, it's right over here in the next room. So here we go. And alright, so this is the lava one, not the maze one. So this is actually super easy. So there we go, flip that lever. And then right over here, and there should be another door behind this one. And yes. So all we have to do is go ahead and open the door behind this one. And then we will go ahead and complete it. So here we go, go ahead and jump over these. There we go. And actually these obstacles, the rotating ones, they're new. But these might only be for hard mode. Alright, there we go, we went ahead and got 100%. That is awesome. And of course the last one is an extra time thing. But we, we can't even use it now. So, so now we can go ahead and go around. Claim all of the boss chests. But we don't need to do that. So, so we made it in about with about 2 minutes left. So it took around 10 minutes to go ahead and complete the whole thing. Because we had 12 minutes to go ahead and complete it. And we had 2 minutes left. That leaves us with about 10 minutes total. It actually took a lot longer than I thought it would take. But that is because we died quite a bit on those. So, so the obstacles with the rotating things, those might only be for hard mode. Those might not be in like the normal mode right over there. And that could be a thing that makes it even harder. But yeah, and that is how fast a full team of shiny plus max breakthrough infinity gauntlets can go ahead and complete the time trial. So yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be all for this video though. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.